the tea is so hot right now with love is blind i don't even know how i'm gonna cram this all into one video but here we go we're gonna jump into jackie and marshall because the internet has just been whoo overwhelming me with the tea on this couple first things first there are allegations going around that Marshall found out, and I'm gonna say this again, allegedly found out that Sis had an STD. He found her STD meds, and this led into a whole debacle between the two of them. Now, again, this is allegedly, don't know how true this is, but if that is true, that's messed up. Now to jump to the truth that we got receipts for, she already been out and about with Josh, y'all. She already been out and about with Josh, but you know what? I saw this coming. I truly saw this coming. We all saw this coming when she was telling Marshall that he's not aggressive enough. And this goes back to me just having a feeling of sis needs therapy. Don't get me wrong. Me, some of my friends, I know a lot of people that have gone through the whole toxic phase where like you want somebody to be a little rough with you. You want somebody to talk a little sideways to you. But when you grow and mature and you heal from whatever it is that has you holding on to those toxic traits, you learn to appreciate a good person, a good partner when you recognize them. And to me, she hasn't grown and gotten to that point yet. I mean, it's very obvious. Yes. Jackie is definitely emotionally unavailable, but listen, when Marshall said that he was only with her because he felt like she was a project, oh my God, good man or not, if somebody ever called me a project, like we're done, we're, we're done, whether I am a project or not, don't, oh my Lord, do not ever tell somebody to their face they're a project, like that is so disrespectful. <laughs> project but still Marshall come on now you you was doing that just to, to hit her to get a little one too it's okay I get it your feelings were hurt but don't call nobody a project or don't even tell it to their face if you're thinking it keep it up there hopping back over to Josh what was that what was that the drunk belligerent aggressive like I was uncomfortable for Marshall when he rolled up on him and was just all up in his face and bro, we good, we good, nah, bro, we ain't good. Like that, that was, oh, it, I got goosebumps right now just talking about it because y'all, that was a lot. I, I whoo. When he was like, he's there to let Jackie know how he feels and he don't care who toes he step on or whatever. Yeah, we could tell, bro, we could tell. But at the end of the day, I always felt like even from the jump, I think I just spit. <laughs> I always felt like he was a better match for her because when they were in the pods, Jackie was always just, oh, I got boyfriends and da 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 da. You know, she was just all into the flirting and being kind of hyped up a little bit, gassed up. And he seems like that type. He seems very aggressive. And you know, your girl wants some aggression. So I'm not shocked that they were spotted out together. I'm not. We're going to jump into Zach and Bliss because side eye. Side eye. At first, I was all down with Bliss, just giving him a hard time, saying, I'm not going to give you any compliments or, you know, just really not feeding into him trying to fluff her up and everything because he did her dirty and he deserved that treatment. But sis, how, how, how you just going to go ahead and say yes to a proposal? Knowing that you were the second choice, knowing that this man was just on a vacation with his other fiance, like, no, no. I really feel like Zach is on this show either for opportunity or he's having a really hard time dating in the real world and thinks this is the only way he's gonna be able to lock somebody in. But either way, it ain't it. That, that whole situation, that ain't it, that ain't it. I don't think it's gonna last. Yeah. Now on a more lighter note, Tiffany and Brett, they're giving me Lauren and Cam vibes from season one. Like Lauren and Cam, you could tell it was genuine love. It was a genuine connection. You knew it was going to last. They still together now. I truly get those vibes from Brett and Tiffany. I hope it works out. I hope it goes the long distance because we love y'all. Okay. We are rooting for y'all. Please make it down and say yes. Last but not least, we got to get into Kwame and Chelsea and Micah and Paul. Always have to put these two couples together as like, 
a whole thing because Kwame is still clearly obsessed in love with Micah and Micah clearly still has a thing for Kwame like that's not going away and honestly to me they need to just go try be together and leave Paul and Chelsea alone because Paul and Chelsea don't deserve none of this now that it's come out that Kwame was on season 10 of love at first sight I don't think you know what I honestly I took notes <laughs> as I was watching the show and I'm gonna show y'all one of my notes See that right there? Something about Kwame feels fake, forced happiness. He here for exposure. He's here just to be on television. Clearly, clearly, I knew it, I knew it. I just was not getting good vibes from him from the jump. He feels very disingenuine, like, I knew it. I freaking knew it. I'ma leave that relationship over there. <sighs> Micah and her friends. Oh my gosh, I see where the mean girl comes from. That big, broad-shouldered linebacker of a friend that she got that's sitting here like, mm, I don't like him. I can't stand people that's like that. It's not for you to like him. It's for you to determine if he is good for your friend. Honestly, if you ask me, I think she got something for Micah. People that act like that, they low-key got something for their friend. They want the friend, so they sit here and badmouth anybody that they date. Because Paul is a good guy. Paul wasn't being disrespectful to me. I don't think so. But as soon as he got that energy from her friends, he started giving it back. And then he removed himself from the situation like the adult that he is. Micah, you are the company you keep, okay? Girl, you need some better friends. And that whole sit down with her and Arena where she was telling Arena about herself and was like, did I miss the red flags? First of all, the fact that you were calling somebody your best friend and you just met them, that's a red flag in itself. And yes, honey, you did miss the red flags, but you're a red flag too, so let's not go there. To wrap this up, all in all, I think Tiffany and Brett will be the only couple that makes it down the aisle and says yes and goes the distance. Everybody else, it's a wrap. Leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this second set of episodes. What's your predictions for the finale? Y'all know I am all up into this. And I will be back with the part three once everybody walks down the aisle.